Well, as all communities, there's always a challenge to meet the needs of our employers in regards to workforce. And so um, a lot of organizations came together and we decided the best way to do it is to plant the seeds early. So we have partnered with the school district and local employers and manufacturers to have this day that we call Find Your Path. And we um, invite employers from six different disciplines um, to come and share their experiences and knowledge about the work that they do and you know oftentimes kids that want to be an accountant think that that means they sit in an office and they're an accountant and they don't stop to think that you know nearly every business would employ an accountant and so their options are a lot wider than you know what they first imagined. Strange enough you know if somebody asked you when you graduated from high school if you were going to live in your hometown and work they'd tell you no right? So we have right now more entrepreneurs and more young people that left and went to school and maybe even started a career that have came back to Mexico and invested in our community and we're super excited about it. We have a ribbon cutting tomorrow with a young man who graduated in 2013 and he's opening a business and we'll take our chamber student ambassadors from the high school to go you know watch that happen so you know we really I mean we'd love to keep them all but we get a significant number back and I think as you mature and get older you want your families to have the same you know I think that we have um, we continually work to have a qualified more expanded workforce but I think a lot of it is too that we were heavy in the brick industry and that's no longer here so that offered up employees um, you know and, and even children of employees of the brick plants that you know thought they might go into that line um, that made them available to other employers and we have some great manufacturers here and some great manufacturers you know, they never were to the point that they were employing um, a significant number compared to the people that worked in the brick industry previously. So it just really was not, you know, we were sad. We had hoped that that would be rejuvenated, but, you know, there wasn't a great number of people that were unemployed. I want to go to Mizzou and I want to be a nurse. I go through the nursing program and I want to eventually become a NICU nurse. Um, I love doing anything with babies. I think they're just so sweet. And I really like helping people. And so I'll work as a pediatric nurse. It takes about three to five years as a peds nurse to become a NICU nurse. So that's what I do. Um, I mean, I don't, I, I've never really wanted to go super far. Um, I'm really, really, really close to my parents. And family's really important to me. So um, I've never wanted to go super far. But I think it's, you get like a bigger city experience. And I'm still going to live on a dorm. So I'll have a, college experience still. Going to uh, Rolla, Missouri s &T. and I'm pursuing a major in electrical engineering as a uh, uh, I'd consider coming back to Mexico. I feel like it might be good to go to maybe a bigger city and sort of just get the experience of living in that kind of environment to actually know which one I'd prefer to the rest of my life. Community that I feel like it's harder to achieve in larger places uh, and at, at least in like the business uh, field like a, a lot of the businesses are small businesses and local businesses and there's a very home-like environment that you can get when you go there that I feel like you can't get as easily in a bigger city. Um, I think I'm going to go into the welding industry right out of high school. I've kind of looked around at some colleges and looking and weighing in my options I've decided that going right into the workforce is the better option for me. I was just doing a lot of thinking over it and like anytime I think about going to college I think about okay what am I going to go to college for? You know I, whenever I think about what I would go for I just can't really think think of it like yeah it's like, some, I, like I could go to college if I wanted to I know I would succeed in it if I went but I just don't have a clear line of where I'm going whereas whenever I think about going into the workforce such as welding like is what, which is what I do I want to be a full-time welder and eventually a welding inspector. I know exactly what I need to do, I know where I need to go, and I can go straight to my goal. So that's why I kind of thought of it as a better option for me. Um, in Mexico, probably not, I, but in Missouri, it is most likely I will stay in Missouri. Um, yeah, it's close to home, but it's really not like, granted it's a good, it's a good starting pay, it's just kind of, I don't see a lot of progression in that, in that field. Like it's, it's, it doesn't sound like a lot of a career for me. It just sounds like the same type, the same, same thing day after day after day. I want to be able to grow and progress.